Hello everyone, today I've decided to do a bit of a video about my Santa Cruz 5010, like a long term view. Um, I bought the bike in 2000, summer 2016, so it's now two and a half years old. Um, and basically you see a lot of reviews of bikes um, that I've only been ridden a couple of times. I'll, you know, people do some test riding uh, and then they've decided whether it's the bike for them. Um, as I said, I've had this bike for two and a half years now, um, and I think now I've decided that this is the bike for me. Um, it took me quite a while to decide to get this particular model, actually. I was pretty much set on getting a Bronson um, until I sat on a Bronson and thought, well, the head angle's slacker on a Bronson and it's 160mm travel bike. Now. I do a reasonable amount of cross country miles as well as riding trails and bits and pieces like that. So I wanted something that was going to climb as well. So the 5010 um, fitted the bill. Um, since I've had the bike, I've upgraded. Uh, since I've had the bike, I've upgraded a few things. Um, the, the biggest upgrade I'd say I've done is uh, replace the wheels for the carbon uh, Santa Cruz Reserve wheels. Um, the main reason for that was when I got the bike um, it was all running well um, and it has uh, SRAM hubs on it with race face rims um, but the rear hub decided to just completely disintegrate the rear hub was absolute junk um, so I rebuilt a, a Hope hub into that and that's now on my other bike but that's what spurred me on to get these wheels and I will say that uh, you know any road rider will tell you what wheels will do for your bike and the transformation that it made to this bike was incredible I mean it's still a fairly heavy bike because all enduro bikes are really um, but it, it has made a difference in the, the rolling weight which is is really really noticeable um, and a huge benefit they're also stiff a lot of people say that they might be too stiff but I think a carbon wheel should be stiff um, so yeah I love them I absolutely love them and the, and the whole time I've had them all I've done is tension up the spokes a little bit. Um, I did break one of the rear spokes from a bit of a crash I had in the summer, um, but I just replaced it like for like with the same spoke and trued it up and it's been absolutely perfect since. Um, I chose to have the Industry 9 hubs on there, which were quite loud, um, but they engage really quickly um, and they're really nice, they're really cool as well. So that's on the SRAM XD setup. Um, the other really sort of important upgrade I've made on this bike is the brakes. Um, it came with Shimano SLX brakes um, when it was new, but I've always had a bit of a problem with newer Shimano brakes. Uh, they don't really have the right sort of feel for me. Um, so I read a lot of tests, I watched a lot of videos, and I decided to go for the Magura MT5s. So there's the levers there and there's a caliper there so these are a four pot brake caliper front and rear and I chose the 180 mil rotors front and back um, rather than going for the 203s I didn't really think it required the 203s to be honest um, and it stops phenomenally well that's absolutely transformed the stopping power of this bike now the, the brakes that were on it they've been fitted to another bike um, but it's those two things alone I think have completed this bike for me. Um, since I've changed the wheels and since I've changed the, the brakes, I don't want to ride anything else. I was thinking this summer about replacing the 5010 for the newer version of it um, and perhaps going for an alloy frame, but I don't think so. I think next year I'll probably get another 5010 in the carbon version um, and just replace these wheels and these brakes straight onto it because they're unless they come factory fitted like that, or I pay for them to be on there, you know, it's the perfect bike with those upgrades. Um, there's only a few other little bits and pieces that I've changed on the bikes. I've fitted a, a chain guide on there because although your chain's not supposed to come off of a narrow, narrow wide chain ring, it inevitably does, especially when your chain starts wearing or your chain ring starts wearing. So even though that's all been replaced a couple of times since I've had the bike, Occasionally you, you would drop a chain um, and it's super annoying, especially when you're in a race, which I've done a few times this year, I have dropped a chain. 
um, so that just stops that and they're not very heavy and they're pretty inexpensive as well so that's just one less thing to worry about um, other than that it's pretty much as it came out of the factory so it's still fitted with the same RockShop reverb which Touchwood seems to be working okay still despite some reported problems um, it's got the same uh, SRAM GX 11 speed uh, set up on it which it came with uh, and that seems to be working perfectly well in fact I did break uh, a GX mech and gear hanger two summers ago um, and I could have upgraded it but for the weight and the, for, for the performance there's such little in it that it's hardly worth it at all um, so yeah that's all that's all that really the pike's a brilliant fork that's what comes on there um, I think a lot of Santa Cruz's now are actually fitted with Fox um, up front as well as up on the rear. Um, obviously if there's a Fox float on the rear, that's what came on there as standard as well. Um, other than that, that's pretty much as it came. So, as I say, I do ride cross country um, on this. So I'll go and do like a 20, 25 mile cross country ride. But I'll also go and find my favourite trails in the woods on this. Um, which is perfect for, uh, so I ride Surrey, it's been to Wales once or twice, um, but generally speaking, like riding sort of trail centre type stuff is why I bought it and what I wanted it for, um, and it's been absolutely perfect for that. So I definitely think in the future that I won't be swapping for a Bronson or a Hightower, which is what I was looking at. I think I'll probably just get the 5010 again. Um, yeah, so I mean, I, I wouldn't change anything else really. It's for me, it's a perfect bike, especially around here and and the kind of things that we ride. Um, the only thing I think I'd like to upgrade is is the bars and stem, but that's just a matter of preference, just purely aesthetics. Um, I think the rest of it, it, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and it certainly isn't broke, um, and I'm still perfectly happy riding it two and a half years on from when I got it. So yeah, if you're thinking about getting a Santa Cruz 5010, um, I'd watch out for what brakes might be come fitted on it, um, because this, they're quite often SLX unless you pay for a, a higher spec version. And also, um, the wheels, I'm not sure what the newer versions of the Santa Cruz uh, wheels come with, um, but if it comes with SRAM hubs on race face rims, then um, that's something that you definitely want to look into. Um, at a later date or even upgrade into the reserve rims uh, straight away because it's so worth it it's unbelievable the difference that it makes um, other than that I wouldn't change anything else I think it's a fantastic bike and I'll carry on riding it all the way through to the summer when as I say I'll probably swap it for another one so there you have it a little bit of a review a little bit of a bike check um, that's what I've been riding for the last two and a half years the Santa Cruz 5010C and there she is